Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Levine is out there with Michael Jordan, and it's Vucevic in at the center. And for Cleveland, they've got Ricky Rubio, Robin Lopez out there with Mobley, and it's LeBron James, and it's Mitchell in at the shooting guard position. All I'm going to say is a few years ago, I would not expect this Bulls team to be in this position right now. They mm. weren't dominating, but look at what they're doing now. It's a whole new era. LeBron outside. The tray. Bean with the rebound. Now the Bulls with it. The Chicago team, Richard, has managed to turn things around after a string of four losing seasons. And that's why you never count a team out. A few smart trades, some good draft pickups, that's all it takes for you to ascend the rankings and become a top team in this league. And the right coach. Clearly, Billy was the right coach for this team. Oh, yeah, and that too. Definitely a good coach. That one falls for Williams. And both free throws good for Williams. And even though he didn't see a ton of time on the floor in his one year in college, nobody doubted Patrick Williams and his upside. Now, here's Lopez. Here's Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. So aggressive and explosive. Mitchell working above the rim and doing damage. And it didn't take long for Williams to live up to his potential. No, and that's where basketball can be so funny sometimes. He started every game his rookie season after not starting at all at Florida State. Let's just say his game might be more tailored for the lead. Now, here's Rubio. Following the miss by Michael Jordan. Pass to Lopez. Mitchell with it. Last game we saw him score 32. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. There's the pass to DeRozan. Jordan outside. Bangs home the trifecta. And DeMar... And DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Now, here's Rubio. He averages a bit over six points a game. Here's LeBron. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You gladly take those. And he's got his first chance at the line here. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. And there has, Greg, been some talk within the league about adding a mid-season tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for but love now, I can see why they're considering it. DeRozan has every shot, but that mid-range, yeah, that's his bread and butter. Rubio against Levine. Mobley a screen on Levine. Rubio, the pass to Mobley. And 
Mobley throws it down. Mobley. And it's not just all of his physical ability. It's his hands. He has amazing hands. Catches everything. Never a wasted motion. Now, here's Jordan. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. DeRozan's shot is off. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Mitchell, a screen on Levine. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. Lopez kicks to Rubio. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Vucevic. Second chance shot. And it's Lopez laying it in. A guy that doesn't give up on the glass. Lopez, a real force at rebounding the ball. Here's DeRozan. His last outing, he had 24 Donovan points. Mitchell. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. Second team foul. That's his first foul. So it's Chicago now. Trailing by two. That one off the back iron and out. So it's Rubio bringing it up for the Cavaliers. Pass to Lopez. Over Williams. Lopez, no luck. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And Williams with the basket on the assist by Levine. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. Rubio, the pass to Mobley. Back to Rubio. Holds it up there for Mobley. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by LeBron. And Rubio kicks to LeBron. Down low. Lopez against Williams. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez has got his second bucket of the game to go. And at 277 pounds, Lopez absorbs contact well. Difficult to deter him on the way up. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. Three Pick points. works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's LeBron. Right now he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. For Chicago, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Michael Jordan on the wing. The shot from 20 feet away. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Yeah, they weren't doing themselves any favors missing all those free throws. You could sense the frustration mounting as the game went on. Now here's Levine. He's coming off a 25-point game against Brooklyn. Jordan inside. Covered by Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Here's DeRozan. It's good. Using his athleticism to beat the contact, DeRozan refuses to be held back. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. James with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Here's Mobley. Plays it up and banks it in. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Mitchell. DeRozan scanning the floor. From deep three-point range, it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at Cleveland. What a run they've had this year in first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And, of course, the Bulls, six and a half games behind them. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have. Oh, oh, look out! Look out! Oh, now that's how you finish. Oh, what a brass play by the young guy. James showing us what this rookie 
can do. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Outside to Rosen. Puts it up from 15. Here's Vucevic. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid on. Cavaliers leading. Now, here's Rubio. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Williams against Mobley. Back to Rubio. And here's James outside. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Chicago trailing here. Richard for the Cavs, the progress that Darius Garland has made in just a few seasons is nothing short of remarkable. Well, he took a giant leap last year, and he got better in just about every offensive category, and people recognize it. He was third in most improved player voting and probably would have finished a little bit higher had they not dealt with injuries at the end of the season. And he was an all-star. Yes, sir. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Wade sets the pick for Mitchell. Wade on the wing. Three-pointers off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Pass to Caruso. And here is Drummond. Stolen by Mitchell. The pass to Levert. Five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the bowl. They trail by one. And here is Dosumu. Still looking for his first bucket in this one to stop the drought, and it's good on the layup. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Cavaliers have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Pass to Levert. In the corner, Okoro with it. Fires for three. The shot, no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. And finds Beverly. Passes it to Jones. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pass to Beverly. Three pointer. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And he's turned himself into a tremendous 3 and D role player. Beverly's jump shot has become a strong suit on offense. Way to screen on Beverly. Wait on the wing from downtown. That's good. That's Levert with the assist. The Rico come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And there's a call on Jetty Osman. That is his first foul of the game. Team foul. A minute 50 left to play here in the first. Now Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Driving inside. And it's Beverly missing. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Levert the pass away. 
back to Levert. Wade sets the pick for Levert. Down to five on the shot clock. He dishes it to Wade. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Bulls on D. Mitchell looking it over. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Andre Drummond picks one up. And that's part of what Mitchell brings to the table. The willingness to operate on the perimeter or get in there and mix it up on the interior. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Unlike a lot of clubs now, Richard, this Bulls team has not fallen in love with a three-point shot. Yeah, some of it's scheme and some of it's personnel. Don't just shoot threes because everyone else is doing it. They slash through the lane. They'll post you up, and it gets them to the free throw line. That's where they dominate. That one drops. He ties it up. Now Chicago has gone three of six, 50 percent from deep so far tonight. Caruso, the pass to Dosun. Jones with the screen on Mitchell. Here's Dosun move out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. And let's take this opportunity to show you the shooting guards with the highest percentage from the floor over the last month. You look at Jordan leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Donovan Mitchell is right there as well. You know, just ask this group. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming on the perimeter. And with their range, they stretch out opposing defenses. So even when they're not shooting threes, they're still making an impact. And Jones with the stop. Junior. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Wade passes to Lavert. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lavert's got it all tied up now for the Cavs. And got to push Lavert out of that area because he's very comfortable looking to score from there. Here's Dosunmu. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And one of the big ways he came through was at the foul line. They couldn't contain him. He was equally effective at scoring baskets as well as getting to the line. For three, Mitchell. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bulls lead by two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. tuning in it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls now Chicago has gone three to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown they've got LeBron James Okoro out there with Ricky Rubio then there's Mobley and it's Osman in at the power four that's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second Levine against Mobley. Levine's shot is off. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Osman. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Rubio finds Mobley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, he has such tremendous upside, Evan Mobley. And we've even heard coaches express jealousy that J.B. Bickerstaff gets to coach him. Young big men usually take time to adapt to this league, not him. Beyond the production, you love his maturity and the leadership by example. Shooting two. Oh. 
Free throw good, Mobley. And in the last decade, defenses switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. Robin Lopez has checked in for Jetty Osman. Looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team, this is a squad that really wants to get out of that championship team shadow. They want to establish their own identity. DeRozan gets the bucket. DeRozan. Isn't it beautiful watching DeRozan just work through contact? He loves overcoming these kind of moments. LeBron outside, takes the three. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. We talked about it, Richard. The city of Cleveland eternally grateful to LeBron for winning them a title back in 2016. And so is the franchise, but it's understandable why these players want to be given respect on what they've done for this team since he left, especially considering the recent success they've had with this young crew. Here's Mobley, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on DeRozan. The length of Mobley is that's what's challenging for many defenders, which is why they pretty much resort to fouling. The Cavaliers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. First one falls for him. When you're talking about Mobley, where do you start? In terms of length, skill set, he's got a great offensive skill set, and he's got a great defensive skill set. This man has the old-school grit and grind mentality. And both free throws, good for Mobley. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. And there's the pass to Lopez. He kicks it to Rubio. Drives to the hoop. Trying to get open is Lopez. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Rubio. And for a seven-footer, you know, Lopez distributes it well. Consistent at looking to set up his teammate. Levine for three. And it's rebounded by Cleveland. Rubio outside. Pass to Mobley. Over Williams. Mobley misses. Bulls have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Levine dishes to DeRozan. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Ricky Rubio picks one up. Let me tell you, DeMar DeRozan is one of the best at manipulating defense. That's why he gets to the line at such a ridiculous clip. Free throw good from DeRozan. A premium talent in this league. DeRozan about as valuable as they come. That one is no good. The Cavaliers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. A nice shot by Okoro. And the court vision of LeBron is something special. There's a reason he's been compared to Magic Johnson. Outside, Levine. Jordan on the wing. He's got five. Shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And there's the drive. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Isaac Okoro 
did not like that. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Okoro kicks to Rubio. The dish to Okoro. Just five on the clock. Levine against Rubio. A three-pointer off the mark. The Bulls leading by three. It's Williams high post. Mobley's there. DeRozan with a screen for Jordan. Kicks to DeRozan. From outside, off the mark. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Rubio finds Mobley. Back to Rubio. To the middle. And Mobley throws it down. Mobley. Long way out for Mobley, but he rises to the rim for the finish. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Passes to Vucevic. Now here's Jordan. Outside DeRozan. The Bulls need to get a shot on. Vucevic with the bucket. Always a battle when you're up against Vucevic. His soft touch helps him convert inside. So timeout call here. The first for Cleveland. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it, but it was amazing. I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. To thank, to, to thank you. I, I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint, and he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it, but for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Rubio will pass to Mobley. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Levine against Rubio, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. He misses the free throw, and Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Cavaliers making a switch here. Wade's checked in. And he's good on the second. And Levine's combination of athleticism and shooting makes him dangerous. A multifaceted player with a strong work ethic. Wade dishes to LeBron. Mobley a screen on DeRozan and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line his first third team foul he made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game two shots shoot two That free throw missing. And I don't know if we've ever seen a player come into the league with as much hype and expectations as LeBron James. He's dealing with a lot of pressure at a very young age. Karis LeVert's checked in for the Cavaliers. Andre Drummond's checked in for the Bulls. Alex Crusoe comes in for Williams. He hits the second from the line. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Jordan kicks to Drummond. Pass to Caruso. 
Drummond sets the screen for Caruso. And stolen by Mobley. Now, here's Okoro, guarded by Levine. Caruso against Levert. Here's the drive. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's James. No good there. So the Bulls will take it the other way. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Levine against James. Chicago again turning it over. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Donovan Mitchell. The Cavaliers trail by three. Lavert with it. Nine points last game. James finds Mobley. That shot no good. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Here's Jordan. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. For Chicago, they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. throw good Jordan and the defining trait of the greatest of superstars Jordan makes the players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers Osman comes in for Evan Mobley and it's Mitchell in for a coral and so Jordan nails both of them the Cavaliers trail by five outside and stolen by Jordan and he's going up for the alley-oop and then Jones with the jam yeah and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor he attracts all that attention defensively leaving guys wide open to the inside and James with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. LeBron's got eight points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. On the wing, Jordan. They get a hand on it. Up again. It's good on the putback. Jordan's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Mitchell kicks to Wade. Back to Mitchell. There's the three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fourth rebound in this one. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Caruso, offensive rebound. And it's Drummond with the jam. And that's 280 pounds crashing the glass. Drummond bullying his way there on that second chance bucket. Caruso against Mitchell. Oh, and the jam by Wade. What a play. Oh, forget about going for the long range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Caruso finds Jordan. Dunk by Jordan. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. It's all in by the Bulls. Drummond's got his sixth rebound on the night. Just an ugly show for him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. And the pass to Beverly. Here's Jordan. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Bulls making a change here. Dosumu's checked in.
And Caruso's got the ball here for Chicago. Nosunu, the pass to Drummond. Drummond with a screen on Levert. Pass to Drummond. Drummond is double. Pocket six. Jones. No one around him. Good on the three-point shot. Jones has got five points now this quarter. James against Caruso. Two minutes. 156 left to play here in the half. Mitchell outside. A three. Chicago grabs the miss. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And Jones stands at home. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. James finds Wade. Wade sets the pick for James. Will it go? And the layup is good. James has got 10 points in the game. And I think LeBron is most comfortable inside using his length and athleticism. Dosunmu, the pass to Jones. Here's Caruso. Here's the three. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. Now, here's Dosunmu, currently averaging almost six points a game. Passes it to Drummond. Drummond is doubled. He kicks to Beverly. A wide open look here for Caruso. Off target from outside. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Osman, the pass to Mitchell. James against Caruso. And there's the call on Joe. That is his first foul of the game. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Lopez is checked in. James looking it over. Five on the clock. And he drives in. Poked away. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. LeBron's got seven points here in this quarter. Bobbed up there for Trubbin. And that does it for the first half of play. Pulls out front, up eight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Ricky. Bench has always been an issue here. When they produce like they did in the first half, how does that help you? It's amazing. That means like we are we have a deep bench and then a lot of work from the staff, from the from the everybody of the of the team, like doing uh, extra work and winning games. Trying to change the culture around here. Thanks, Ricky. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Chicago Bulls. Their plus margin on the boards has fueled this lead. They've been the much more physical team. Yeah, this is how I play it. You got to lean on them until they break. And let's get back to our featured game, a fantastic battle between these two guys. This is exactly what leaders do. They know what a win means tonight, and they're stepping up for their teams. Yeah, so difficult to cover either of them. Should be an interesting second half. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. So for Chicago right now, Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. 
Levine is out there with Michael Jordan, and it's DeRozan in at the small forward spot. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Monday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Take a break. And for that game against the Hawks, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. First free throw is good. Free throws, good from DeRozan. And so here's Cleveland. It's a 10-point game. They host the Spurs after this one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's James. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They've led by as many as 14 points. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Kick out to Levine. And the three off target. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Back to Lopez. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. And for years, it has seemed like Nikola Vucevic has been so underrated. Multi-time All-Star. This is a big man that really does it all. Williams, a screen on Mitchell. DeRozan passes to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Oh, just a clever play by DeRozan. Using the pick and roll to make space for someone else. Lopez sets a screen for Rubio. A three-pointer no good. And Richard, it seems as though it's easy to take Vucevic for granted. Yeah, and it's so strange. He consistently puts up great numbers and plays his role to perfection. A big guy that any team would love to have, especially when you consider how efficient he is. Vucevic, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Vucevic has got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And here is LeBron. 12 points for him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Vucevic. He's putting up about 14 points tonight, 10 rebounds, and four assists. And you look at his huge role in their offense, a major contributor as far as putting up points. He's just a natural scorer and someone this offense leans on to help shoulder the load and lead the charge. Free throw good, LeBron. He makes one of two that time. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. DeRozan with a screen for Jordan. Stolen by Mitchell. And Mitchell with a clear path to the hoop. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. An explosive effort there from Mitchell, outrunning the defense and taking the fast break all the way. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Chicago leading by 11. Levine kicks to Williams. Jordan against Rubio. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And now look at Donovan Mitchell. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. And he's among the top 20 free throw shooters in the league. Doesn't waste many opportunities at the line. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal sure, right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. Right. 
Free throw good, Jordan. Okoro, he's checked in for LeBron. And he can't hit the second. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Right around three minutes into the second half. And stolen by Jordan. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Back to Rubio. Pass to Okoro. Five to shoot. Not going to go that time. Jordan with some nice deep. Levine with it. Guarded now by Okoro. Now the pass to Jordan. Mobley against DeRozan. A three ball. That shot, no good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Mitchell outside. Mobley a screen on Jordan. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Outside, Levine. Jordan with the screen on Rubio. Levine kicks to DeRozan. From 10 feet out, Mobley with the block. Hard to protect your shot from Mobley's length. Look, he just bats that ball away. Rubio dishes to Okoro. Mitchell wide open. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And it's Williams with the ball for the Bulls. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Vucevic with the bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. They could use a bucket, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. One area, Isaac Okoro has shown lots of growth, Richard, is in his defense. Yeah, he's becoming a talented stopper. you got to find ways to get on the floor, and defense is one of them. It's something you can tell he's worked on, but there's just something about his natural ability and the way he's leaned into it. No oh, good on that one. Richard, 2004 was the last time that the NBA expanded. Now, some say Seattle and maybe Las Vegas could before long have teams of their own. What do you think? Oh, please give me <laughs> Seattle back. Please give me <laughs> Vegas back. Do you know what I would give to have those two cities back in our league and to have to travel to them? Look, but you must have deep pockets. Let's be honest with yourself. The franchises now are selling for over $3 billion. You got to think that the expansion fee will at least be that much per team. Take like a second now to view the top pit pockets in the NBA. You look at Jordan, always dangerous on the court. He leads the lead. And defensively, his intensity just never drops. You match that up with his incredible timing, and you can see why he's atop the list. That's good from DeRozan. Both good from the line that time. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Mitchell passes to Okoro. 
Mobley sets the pick for Okoro. Poke loose. Lavert up top. He's started by Williams. And it's Lavert missing. And not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Jones comes in for Williams. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jordan. Finds Mitchell, now Lavert. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Mobley misses. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Stolen by Wade. Mitchell against Beverly. Mitchell kicks to Levert. Wade outside. Back to Levert. Wade a screen on Levine. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Good on the triple. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He, he'll just drive right around him. Bean passes to Caruso. To the paint, here's Truman, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Bulls lead by 16. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And Mobley throws it down. Yeah, and Mobley's teammates love throwing lobs his way. Why? Because he catches pretty much anything he throw up there. Levine looking around. Pass to Beverly, shoots the three. Cavaliers with the rebound. Mobley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now, here's Okoro. Oh, yes! A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. Mitchell against Levine. Here's Beverly, and Drummond kicks to Levine. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. No good on the three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Okoro with it, now defended by Levine. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Into the lane. Shoots over Caruso, and it's Mitchell missing. Bulls leading by 12. Now Caruso. No points in the game yet for him. Kicks it to Levine. And it's been a while, but he finally gets one to go. Levine's got six points. Smart hoop by Levine. With how many teams defend him, he'll get his shot all day. And the Cavaliers call time here. Eddie Osman, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And a change for the Bulls. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Levine. The Cavaliers trail by 14. 
Here's Mitchell. 12 points for him. Mobley outside. Pass to Levert. Shot clock at five. Shoots it. And another miss by Cleveland. And so Caruso will bring up the ball for the Bulls. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Osman, defended by Beverly. With his first shot attempt, rebound Andre Drummond. The Bulls leading by 14. Here's Dosunmu. Knocked loose. Cleveland's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Okoro kicks to Levert. Over Jones. It's all in by the Bulls. Drummond's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Beverly with the ball. Pass to Dosunmu. Jones with the screen on Mitchell. Down low. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Levert. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. And to put things simply, this has not been his order. And there's the pass to Caruso. And here's Jones. Pass to Beverly. Let's the three fly. They get it again. Drummond uses the glass to finish the layup. Drummond's got six. Uh, a tall and powerful big. Drummond has a natural ability to finish inside. And Mobley throws it down. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Now here's Caruso. He's guarded closely. Passes it to Jones. Now here's Dosumu. Back to Jones. Pass to Dosumu. Beverly up top. Lovert defending. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And throughout his career, Beverly has remained a pest, an aggressive defender that no one likes having him guard. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. A different look now for Cleveland. Lopez, he's checked in for Mobile. James comes in for Isaac Okoro. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Chicago also making some changes. Williams comes in for Derek Jones. And it's DeRozan in for Dosumu. The Cavaliers trail by 17. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Osman. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Lopez, a screen on Beverly. And it's Osman missing. Driving to the basket. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And, and he's there at 71 from the line this season. Probably below where you'd like to see him. Shooting two. That's good from Beverly. Both shots good from the strike. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Three-pointer, Levert. 
And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Trailing by 19, they've got Robin Lopez, Levert out there with Ricky Rubio, and it's LeBron James, and it's Osman in at the four. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Oh, tricky shot for Levert. Defense is all over him, but he draws a foul on that attempt. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Chicago. And the free throw drops for Levert. Levert hits both of them. And here's DeRozan. It's Jordan on the wing. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Karis Levert. Shooting for Chicago. Michael Jordan. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And both free throws, good for Jordan. Here's Levert. To the inside. Rubio against Levine. Rubio right side. Four on the clock. He feeds it to Lopez. It's stolen by Vucevic. Lopez with the steal. Shoots over Vucevic. Lopez, no luck. The Bulls leading by 19. Here's DeRozan. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Zach Levine. Levine's got three assists in the game. Well, Cleveland shooting a meager 37% for the game. The pass to Lopez. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. He kicks to DeRozan. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Outside, Levine. William sets a screen for Levine. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. His third. Named to his first All-Star game in 2021, Zach Levine had a breakout season. Yeah, that was year seven for Zach, averaging over 27 points per game. And look, it feels like he's been in the league forever, but he was only 19 when he was drafted in 2014. Zach's younger than a lot of people think. Free 
Free throw good, Levine. And for a lot of up-and-coming teams, getting better defensively is the key to reaching, Greg, that next level. That being considered, what's the first step in that improvement? A lot of times it's bringing in a great defender, like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that channel. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Pass to James. Over Levine. And James gets it to go on the assist by Rubio. This is what the hype is all about. James having a big night on offense and loving every minute of it. Now Cleveland moving it up. Lavert with it. Now guarded by Jordan. And Rubio kicks to Osmond. Passes to Lavert. Lopez a screen. A nice shot by Lavert. Lavert's got four points this quarter. And how about the playmaking skills of Lavert? I, I like watching this guy break down the D in the pick and roll. Vucevic a screen on James to Rosen. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Lopez sets a screen for James. This is to Lopez. Here's Rubio. Pass to Osman. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. That was an okay, let's say that was an odd play. You don't see misconnections like that too often. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Evan Mobley's checked in for Osman. And Donovan Mitchell's subbed in for Lavert. Rubio against Levine. Jordan a screen on Rubio. Shoots from 14. It's rebounded by Cleveland. James outside. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Count that bucket. And strong finish by LeBron. Listen, this guy is not intimidated by the level of play in the NBA. That's rare for a rookie. Jordan sets the screen for Levine. And again, no good by Chicago. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. James, the pass to Mitchell. Cleveland gets it back. And the layup's good off the glass. Comfortable shooting close to the basket. The size Lopez possesses gives him confidence down low. Here's Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often. Because they know they can depend on him to come through for him. Mitchell outside. Lopez a screen on Jordan. Here's Mitchell. The shot. No good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. 22 is their biggest lead. Jordan a screen on Mitchell. DeRozan against Mitchell. DeRozan's shot is good. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. Timeout called the Cavaliers. to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Michael Jordan. And it's been a terrific night for him in terms of the scoreboard. They've run a bunch of sets for him, and he's continued to come through. Scoring as well as he has, it's taken a lot of pressure off the rest of his teammates. They lost two straight coming into this one, and he knew he needed to put his foot down. He showed leadership tonight, getting them back on the winning track. And so it's Cleveland with it. James outside. Rubio outside to the middle. Here's Mobley. Mobley, great positioning on the putback. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on D. Seal him off or Evan. Look, this man's going to punish you on that glass. 
Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. Unloads from nine. Mobley with the block. Now Rubio. Lopez passes to Mitchell. LeBron James on the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Lopez. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. And James picks up the foul. LeBron James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. His fourth personal foul. We'll see how the coaching staff handles this. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Outside Williams. Knocked away and stolen by James. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Chicago Lopez ball. touched it last. Here's Levine. DeRozan a screen on Rubio. Outside DeRozan. To the right side. Vucevic. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Cavaliers trail by 19. And Rubio kicks to Mobley. Lopez, a screen on Jordan. And Mobley throws it down. Everyone on this team has to be loving this. Great to see Mobley finding his offensive rhythm. Jordan sets the screen for Levine. In the corner, it's Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Six to shoot. DeRozan against LeBron. And it's put back in by Vucevic. Vucevic has got five points now this quarter. Well, after an uneven first half, he's managed to right the ship and get things going. Levine against Rubio. Lopez with the ball. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell, and it's blocked by Jordan. Williams passes to DeRozan. Outside, Levine. Knocks it loose. Now, here's Mitchell. Kicks to Rubio. Back to Mitchell, from the arc. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got assist number five here tonight. Outside, Levine. Arderosen on the wing, over LeBron. It's hauled in by LeBron. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Here is Rubio, to the paint. Here's Lopez, and that one goes long. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. 22 is their biggest lead. And again, Chicago, no good. Cleveland's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. James outside. The pass to Lopez. Over Williams. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic is... The Bulls leading by 16. Pass to Jordan. Stolen by Mitchell. He dishes it to Lopez. Mitchell outside. Back to Lopez. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Vucevic. Off the left rim and out. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead.
Rubio against DeRozan. That one goes in. DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan's got 19 points. Working to find the high percentage look. DeRozan makes sure he converts. And the Cavaliers call time here. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Stolen by Levine. On the wing, Jordan. Two minutes. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Mitchell's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Cleveland. And this is what Mitchell delivers for his team. He's an efficient shooter you can rely on for buckets. A nice shot by Jordan. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Lopez outside. He is looking for Mobley and finds him. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Mobley's got 10 points here in the second half. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're in front by 17. We've got 128 left in the game. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Wade, he's checked in for Mobley. Osman comes in for LeBron. Akuro's checked in for Mitchell. And Karis Levert subbed in for Ricky Rubio. We've got 128 left to play in the final quarter. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Chicago. Well, the one thing that jumps out in this game is the free-throw shooting, which they did a much better job at. Absolutely. A, a, a big plus. And oftentimes your performance at the line can be the difference in a game. And I think tonight we saw that. And so now on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Jordan. We certainly got to see his best effort on offense, attacking the defense without fear and grabbing a lot of buckets. Beverly looking around, passes it to Dosunga. Six on the shot clock. Inside, Lopez with the steal. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Okoro shot is off. And here is Dosumu. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. The end of the this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thanks very much, Zach. There's been some tough losses of late, but tonight you got the win. How resilient is your group? You gotta be a pro. You know, you gotta come out here and do what we gotta do our job. And, uh, you know, we find out we had to get this win. We gotta stop losing these games so we can win. And, um, you know, we gotta get back on track. Well, this is step one, man, in that process. So, congrats. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.